I was just thinking to myself, what you can use these for besides the obvious. The obvious is I put them on my boxes now where I shift them out. Same plastic that Steve Mead uses. <laughs> All his. I mean, it's just a little thicker. But let me tell you the real reason why I like to use these. It's a speaker terminal. It's also a distortion detector. It's also a clipping detector. What I mean by that is this. Whatever gauge wire you got coming from the amp to the terminal should be the same gauge wire that you use from the backside inside the box to the speaker. If you are seeing, sending dirty power, if you have not set your amplifier with a Skillisoap number one, which is the perfect device, or a multimeter number two, or one of the Steve Mead uh, products, that's cool too. I mean, the uh, distortion detector, set your amp game with. If you have not, if you are setting your amplifier by ear, then you're probably gonna have a clip signal. And a clip single signal will have high distortion. Dirty power. Dirty power, no matter what the wire gauge is, from the amp to the terminal, and from the terminal to the speaker, dirty power will build up heat right here. Because this is where your impedance is gonna rise. Because that dirty signal can't move freely through whatever speaker wire you're using, CCA or OFC. OFC is the best. It cannot pass through cleanly through this little connection. And because of that, heat's going to build up and the cap's going to melt. But only if you're sending a clip signal. Only if you're sending dirty power will this cap fail. If you're running clean power, it'll never get hot, never get warm. Never get hot, never get warm. I don't care how much power you're running. If it's clean power, this will not get hot. It will be no resistance in it. The signal will be clean. It will go right through and take the area of least resistance and fly through if it's clean power. So if you have one of these and you say, man, I keep burning, I keep burning, I keep melting, that's because you're sending a clip signal. You're sending a dirty signal. Even if you had bolt terminals on the box, the bolt terminals would get hot. You would see where the bolt terminals are on the, on the boxes, which is I used to put bolt terminals on. As well, and I still do. Some people ask me, "Can you?" I don't want the cup. I want the bolt terminal. That's fine as well. When you're playing your system, and you just go check it, and if you find out if you walk back there and your terminals are hot to the touch, you're like, "Oh man, that, that's hot." Dirty power. You need to recheck your system. Somewhere along the line, the electricity is having a problem, and when it gets here. It's going to have even more heat build up. Either the bolt terminal will get hot or the plastic around here is going to melt. So when I put these on the boxes, you can ask for anything, put it on, that's cool, I got, I got it set cleanly. Or you can say, nah, don't put it, put the terminals on. But either way it go, if your speaker terminals are getting warm, hot enough to melt the plastic cup, or hot on the bolts, you have a dirty signal. It's not that you send an ass load of power. Get that shit out your head. <laughs> you ain't sending ass load of power. You're sending dirty power. Because clean power will pass through this terminal cup easy. The same cup design they put on uh, uh, Kenwood, home theater systems. The reason why they use it is it's standard, standard high-grade plastic. And if your signal is clean, it will not melt. It will pass through easy. Peace, just another little tip. Later. Oh, on a lighter note, funny note. The guy that I always talking about, hey, man, 
Uh, but yeah, what the joke? What's the clown all be saying? Hey, man, you and that gum, man. I can't. This, that, another. Let me ask you a question. Why the fuck are you watching the video? Because I like to chew gum. And if you don't like me chewing gum, fuck are you here for? <laughs> Peace.